with Captain Blanco today. We've given up making intros when we come to the harder lakes because we don't get the footage, there's nothing to record. But today, Captain Blanco, he saved the blank. And now he's done this, I'll talk a little bit about it in the video as well. 9.99 target stalking rods. Me and his boy, Mr. Williams, we've both got half breeze where he's got very reasonable 10 foot rods and I've got sensibly priced 10 footers, haven't I? Yeah. He's gone 9.99. He didn't want to be left out and be two foot longer than us. So he went and got himself some quality rods. Have a look at the fight they give. Right guys, this could be our last fish before lockdown here in the UK. It's on the cheapest of cheapest rods. A target, 9.99, 10 foot special. We'll have a look closer at that in a minute. <laughs> and Captain Blanco, he's gonna rescue the day. He's gonna milk this one for everything it's worth. We'll get net cam soon. I think it's a bit too early to bully him across the net. This is Cow Lake at Wylands. Old rod's holding up pretty well. It is. I haven't heard it creak just yet, but I notice you're not exactly trying to let it bend much. When you're ready, I will come and do net cam. Let's get him in shot a bit more, tubers. There are people that set up here for weeks and don't catch, and we've only been down here for a few short hours. Look at that. I don't know if you just saw him there on the right of the screen. Are you going to net him? Parker. How about that? Captain Blanco saves the day. Saves the day again. <laughs> again. No creaking rod. It didn't creak. It's very good. We'll have a look at that rod in a minute. <laughs> I'll have to stay two metres away at the moment. He'll come back when he's on the bank. Right then, guys, we take the mickey out of his rods because he wanted some 10 footers. So he went online and got these. I'm not sure. Where did you buy them from? I can't remember. One of the angling superstores. Right, dragon carp, is it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as you can see, the reel, well, the rig is just about to drop that. It's probably worth more than the rod. I don't think you can see that. But anyway, as you can see, 10 foot stalker, you can Google this. They're about 9.99 pound delivery. Look at that. The eyes on them are the best, look. Them. They're humongous. Let's get them in focus. Look at them tubers. All the way out. Nice thick blanks. Oh, beautiful. And the reels, as you can see, both fox stratuses on their last legs. But they're like that from the factory, I'm told. Right. He's just going to get his scales and we're weighing. Unfortunately, tubers, it's going to be one of those days. <laughs> the thing just slipped off and down the bank. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. What a plonker. What a plonker. Oh, no. It is with regret. We haven't got a fish to weigh. He just turned his back on that fish for a second and it took a slide down off his mat and straight into the bank, into the water. Oh, I don't know. Captain Blanco. It wasn't worth weighing. <laughs> he did say he didn't think he was going to weigh it. And I said to him, you've got to weigh it. It makes content. The next thing we know, we see the fish <laughs> slid straight into the water. <laughs> anyway... 
If you fancy yourself a giggle, those 990 rods, 990, 999 rods, you've had some entertainment with them, Absolutely. haven't you? Absolutely. Glasgow Angling Centre. Would you recommend rods. buying them, though, at all? No. <laughs> Why not? You fish with them week in, week out. But I have no faith in them. <laughs> <laughs> you was offered a nice set of nine footers with cork handles, wasn't you? I, I did the board, though. <laughs> What, £36 for the pair? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, stay tuned. We'll be back after lockdown's finished. <laughs> Where's our manners? Teabag! Teabag! <laughs> <laughs>